Hello children, today I'm going to sing you the story called Jack and the Beanstalk by Rosemary Wells. Long ago and far away there lived a boy named Jack. La la da, la da, 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 da. One day a giant reached down out of the clouds and plucked up Jack's father, leaving only Jack and his mother hungry and alone in this world. After a year, his mother told young Jack, we haven't a penny left. Take our cow, milky white, to market and sell her for as much money as you can get. So Jack set off down the road to market. La 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 And on the way to market Jack met an old man who admired Milky White and he said I'll give to you this bag of beautiful beans if you'll give me your cow. And because Jack loved the color of those beans, he agreed. La 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 but his mother was furious. That cow was the last thing of worth we had to our names, and you've sold her for five colored beans. You're as thick as a brick, Jack. And she threw the beans out the window in disgust. Jack went to bed in, in tears that night, but Jack had a dream, and what was he dreaming of? Oh, Jack had a dream, and what was he dreaming of? He was dreaming of those colored beans that lay upon the earth. He was dreaming of old Milky White and what she was worth. Oh, Jack had a dream and what was he dreaming of? Oh, Jack had a dream and what was he dreaming of? Wake up. And when the sun did rise, Jack, he did spy a huge green stem outside his window. One of those colorful beans, it did sprout, and now that stalk reached the clouds. Well, up climbed Jack. La, 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 la. And out from a bean leaf stepped Jack onto the clouds and rising from the clouds there was 
was a castle, and that's where Jack went. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. A cook let him in and fed him pancakes. And then she whispered, suddenly you better hide. And that's what Jack did. Up came a giant for breakfast, and he ate three hundred pancakes. But all the while, from some distant part of the castle came some sad singing and the sound of a harp. Jack hummed to the song of love and loneliness. He had heard, heard that song somewhere before. Well, after breakfast, the giant cackled, and then the giant clucked. And up jumped a hen on the table and laid a golden egg in the giant's lap. The giant played with the golden egg and then he fell asleep. Out sneaked with the hen stuffed under his arm. La, 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 la. Lurching through the pillowy clouds, Jack ran for the beanstalk and began to climb down it and skivvy down it as fast as greased lightning. Jack had a dream, and what was he dreaming of? Oh, Jack had a dream, and what was he dreaming of? He was dreaming of those golden eggs and his mother's happy face. If only he could get back home and save himself disgrace. Oh, Jack had a dream, and what was he dreaming of? Oh, Jack had a dream, and what was he dreaming of? Oh, my wonderful boy, said Jack's mother, one of these golden eggs will buy us all we need for a lifetime. And they danced for joy. La, la. Jack told his mother about the giant and the castle and the pancakes and the distant singing from the harp. But what was the song the harpist sang, asked his mother, and Jack sang the song. joy. Green sleeves was my delight. Green sleeves was my heart of gold. Who but my lady green sleeves? sang his mother. That was the song your father sang on the harp.
sharp with the golden face, a hundred golden eggs couldn't make me as happy as one bit of melody from the strings of that harp. Jack could not bear the sadness in his mother's voice, and at first light, he climbed the beanstalk once again. La, 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 la. Once again, Jack hid when the giant ate his breakfast. But when he heard the faraway singing, he crept through a hole in the stove and shot through a tunnel underneath the castle walls. In darkness, Jack circled ever closer to that mysterious music and at fingers over the strings of that harp, his father's harp. <gasps> My brave boy, his father whispered, you have come to bring me home. But upstairs a giant banged on the table. with light and the giant pulses a roast you for my tea roared the giant and he grabbed Jack and his father and the harp up in his huge hands but then the most mysterious thing happened and the golden face on the harp frowned and her strings shrilled and her strings twanged ah, and the giant couldn't stand it and he dropped Jack and he dropped his father and he dropped the harp like hot potatoes and Jack and his father ran, scooted between the slow-moving legs of the giant. Da, 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 da. Over the billowing clouds they leapt. La, da, 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 da. With the giant ones behind. twirled down the beanstalk they twirled until they got to mother earth and jack took out his hatchet and chopped the beanstalk Jack and his family did live happily ever after. La da 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 da
the magic hen, marigold seeds and rose petals. Da, 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 Alas, my love, you do me wrong to cast me out discourteously, for I have loved you well and long, delighting in your come. Story. See you next time.